All right, and uh, this is the quick review on percent. So how do we deal with percent problems? Well, first off, we got to deal with the formula. And so I've got uh, two forms of the formula here. First one, the number equals the percent times the of number. And you might say, what in the world's the of number? Well, a lot of times in percent problems, it's going to say of some number. And so that's real clear. When that's not the case, the number is the part and the of number is the whole. So the part equals the percent times the whole. If you know those two things, you should be able to handle any problem. So let's get right into it, all right? We've got a problem like this. 32 is 78% of what number? All right, and so first we're going to start with the formula, right? Number equals percent times the of number. Okay, well, we can see it says of what? My variable is the of number. 78%, remember, percents are always in decimal form. Therefore, 32 is the number right? 32 is what part of the whole? And we're simply going to divide both sides by 0.78 to solve this. And so 32 divided by 0.78 is 41.0. 41.0 equals n. And I always want to ask, does my answer make sense? 32 is 78% of 41. You know what? That makes sense because 78%, that's over, or it's around 80. Yeah, my answer makes sense. Okay, another form. 44 is what percent of 80? 44 is what percent of 80? So let me just take my equation, right? We'll start with that. And again, I'm looking at this. Well, of 80. All right, that's clear. That's the of number. 44 must be the number, and I guess I'm looking for the percent. Now again, the 80 is multiplied times the variable. We can simply divide both sides by that 80 to move it, right? Very simplistic. Now, don't forget, uh, if you want to read the percent off of your calculator, you'll want to multiply your answer times 100%, because remember, the percent in formulas is always in decimal form. And to change it from a decimal to a percent, you just multiply by 100 or move the decimal point two places um, to the right. All right, so I'm going to do 44 divided by 80. And I get 55%. Does my answer make sense? Yeah, it does because 40 is 50% of 80. I got to be a little bit more than 40. I'm at 55. Demams is happy. And that's a good answer. Okay. All right, third possibility here, find 6% of 40. Whoops, I don't want to take that. I want to take that. All right, so let's use my formula again here. And let's go ahead and see what we get. All right, so find 6% of 40. Okay, of 40. 40 is obviously the of number. 6%, be careful, 0 0.06. I see students wanting to say 0.6. That's 60 6%.06, straight multiplication from here, 0.06 times, I think that's supposed to be a 40, ugly 40, 0.06 times 40, and we've got 2.4, 2.4, what's 10% of 40? Well, that would be 4, we got to be less than that, 2.4, the MAMS is happy, those are good answers, percent problems, the number equals percent times the of number, or part equals percent times the